Yeah, the epitome of what we like to call around here fair and balanced. Joining me today, Washington Times columnist, Fox News contributor, Tammy Bruce, TammyBruce.com. Thank where you, you, sir. Can be found. Thanks for having uh, me. Yeah, sure. Uh, you said recently that the boycotts in North Carolina were, well, you're against them. You say that it's bullying an entire state. Yeah, I know. You're bullying, if Bruce Springsteen yeah. doesn't want to appear, he's bullying the entire state of North Carolina? I think it sends a statement not only to that state but to the country that if you don't conform to the narrative of what I believe, I'm going to punish you. So boycotts now, are not for good? In, in some ways, when you're looking at the nature of that you can, oh, that's a boycott. You can choose to not purchase something. Like people could say, well, he's here and he's performing, and I'll choose to not go. Isn't that a form of bullying? Because if you don't buy when something, you're, you're I hurting employees. I think the context of taking a position in a nationwide dynamic and saying, we are going to punish people who don't conform, yeah, is bullying. Isn't that a form of punishment, though? If you say, I'm not going to buy this product, and I want to gather people not to buy this product, I'm going to boycott a product, you're hurting potential employees, you're hurting a company. Couldn't that be considered a form of bullying? I, I think that depending on who you are, the, the, the context of the power that you have as an individual, the notion of what it is you're dealing with, uh, a, a, a normal regular boycott by individuals is an empowerment of this, this I guess, the, the small guy. You've got one of the richest men in the world, a performer who can do whatever he wants, but what he's saying is, as, a st as I'm taking a stand against this because you're not conforming, to a personal view of mine, uh, and I think that that's meant to bully, it is meant to do that dynamic, which I think for me, yeah, in fact is very different than the average person who has virtually no power in the, in the scheme of, of government is able to at least but take a stand. But because he has that power, that he can make a statement like that and get people to respond, and people will go, look at this, look what he's doing, maybe mm -hmm. I should pay attention to this issue. Which is what that's all about. It's because he has the power. Well, uh, well the he, has the, he has a lot of power, and I think a lot of uh, individuals know that engaging the dynamic like what we're doing here, in fact, maybe educates people more on the issue and gets them more information than somebody who just decides to stomp on a state to punish them for doing something which, by the way, is also, it, in the midst of it, misrepresenting the nature of what the states have been doing. The difference between uh, religious freedom and wanting to protect a group of individuals to be able to um, uh, operate on their conscience uh, as people of faith uh, is want, there's a dynamic on the left that there's a, an, an effort at least to equate religious faith with bigotry and that's that's the new narrative what on the left. What about the freedom of someone who happens to be gay who wants to walk into a store mm -hmm. and be served as a place in a place of what the Supreme Court has sure. referenced as a place of public accommodation sure. without feeling punished or they have to go someplace else mm -hmm. because the store won't serve them aren't they being yeah. punished? if they're being treated like that. Well, look, uh, as a gay woman, and uh, having been in many places in the United States, um, I am openly gay. I'm on national television. That certainly has never happened. I've lived in West Hollywood. A, m a lot of my friends are gay. That's n and in a variety of states. But the point it's here not is... not happen in West Hollywood. And let me ta but let me, well, uh, let me just tell you, though. I mean, we don't just stay in West Hollywood. It's not yeah, like yeah. a bubble there. Um, the, the difference is, is that in all of the fights that have gone on across the country, that none of these places, whether it's the bakery in, in uh, the Northwest or if it's the pizza place here on this coast, these were not places that were saying, we don't want to serve the gays because they're gay. They were saying no to participating in an act that their faith... Uh, making a cake is an act. Making a pizza is a cake. It's an act. Well, that's what they do. They make yeah. pizzas, they but make But it's cake. a participation in a wedding that their faith does, does not abide by. Now, here, my point about whether it's North Carolina or Mississippi or any of these other laws is the issue that we must be able to coexist. And the fact is, is that you can get your pizza, you can get your cake, you can be a person of faith. There's, there's something cold running through the, the public argument when you have people saying a group that, uh, well, with the gay right. civil rights movement, no, no, Alan, let me we finish. Second, when the gay civil rights movement effort was about making sure that gays would not be punished simply because of who they were. And now it seems like Animal Farm. Now that we've got some political power, it seems as though, Christians in particular, uh, that we're going to punish them if they don't conform to our but reality. They are feeling punished if they can't no, go not. to places of public no, accommodation not. like nobody no. else. But how should Bruce no, Springsteen, not just because we only have a second left here, yeah. how should someone like Bruce Springsteen... We have a second left? Well, I've only started. Five seconds. How, I know. You and I always, we could go on <laughs> and on. But how does the Bruce Springsteen and Ringo Starr, same thing, yeah. how do they then make the statement? If they mm -hmm. want to make a statement about what's going on in North Carolina because they're upset, how do they make that well, statement? Have your concert and then say that to the audience and to the national media that's there covering your concert. Everyone can have their opinion, but the yeah. problem is 
they're, they're saying that these laws exa in Mississippi and in North Carolina are discrimination against gays and lesbians. No, they're not. It's, yeah. All it's doing is making sure that people of faith who own businesses, who, and it's not about serving them, it's not about not giving you your yeah. apartment or anything else, are going to be able to operate their business without no. being punished by the state because well, the they're people of faith. Well, the saying is about serving them, and that they are being punished, that gays are being punished. No, they're not. But we're not going to agree on that, and the law seems to be siding more and more with the fact that they are being punished. Well, I, I would challenge everyone to actually read the laws as opposed yeah. to just listening to Bruce Springsteen, and you'll find that this isn't about being served in a restaurant. These are very basic protections uh, well. for people of faith who, who don't want to be bankrupted because of their I faith. I say read the law while listening to Bruce Springsteen. Thank you very much, Tammy.